Hello everyone, welcome to the video tutorial of Store Villa theme and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can configure your footer section with this theme in your website. Well, let me show you in the demo site how we have done. This is the footer area with the footer area and this soft footer area. So I'm going to be explaining you how you can have your site with this footer section. So for this you need to log into your WordPress account then go to appearance and then go to widgets since that area is configured from widgets. Here in widget you will find all this widget area and all these provided widgets here. Now you'll find this uh, footer widget area 1, 2, 3, uh, 3, 4 and 5. You can show up to 4 widget area and you will also have this additional footer quick information area. So first let us configure by configuring this footer widget area 1. Click on it in here. To have this look, you will need to put a widget there. That is about us information widget. Click it and select the widget area you want to place that widget in. Now here you will find you will find a option to upload an image. Well, it might be a logo or anything. So let me select an image for footer area one. I'm gonna I am uploading a logo. Then you can put a short description. Let me see how we have done in our demo site. We have done it in this way so we can put a small description of this site or your company or anything then you can put your facebook url twitter google plus youtube linkedin and pin interest social media profile links well, let us, you just need to copy your URL and paste it there. Similarly for Twitter, I'm getting my company social media profile links. So that your customers can go to that link directly. I'm copying all those links from the URL and pasting it there. Now for the last one. Here it goes. I think I have mistakenly put here another URL, so I'm going to take this one. Now that we have filled up all the configurations and options here, click on save. Well, it is saved now. Now let us go to our front end and see how will this appear. Well, this is the front end of our site we are working on and you will find here a footer area with the footer area one configured as in our demo site with the logo, description and all the links to the social media profile. So the next configuration is to be made in footer widget area 2, 3, 4 and 5. Well in our demo site we have used custom menus, we have made pages, added description in it and we have made this menus and we have assigned those menus here. So I'm going to show you how you can do this. For this in footer widget area 2 you need to place a widget that is custom menu custom menu this one you need to select the widget area and add it there then you can put a title you can put the title of the menu you want to show there I'm um, I'm showing quick links now before I configure this let me show you how you can make uh, how you can create a menu and so that it will be selectable here first let me save this one and you need to go to appearance and then click on menus and here you'll find create a new menu you need to click on it you need to create a new menu and click on create menu 
Now from this side here, you can see from page, post, custom link and categories, you can select pages, post, custom link or categories. And if you want more option for your menu, then you can go to screen option and you can also select product categories, WooCommerce endpoint and product tags and such. And all these will be added here for to add in menu. And here you will find pages, post, custom link you can put there, product categories. So let me add one menu and I'll show you how. I'm going to add product category in my menu. Click on add to menu. Now these product category will be added to your menu and you need to click on save menus. Now your uh, menu 1, 2, 3 is created with all these product categories and for our demo site we have made these pages and added in this menu so after this you will need to go here you need to put the title I'm gonna put the title of the menu I have created and select the menu and save it similarly I'll do the same for footer widget area 3 that is put the custom menu there put the title I'm gonna select information for here so I'm gonna put the same title here and click on save same thing goes for 4 and 5 now for 4 I'm gonna select style advisor And click on save now for this one I'm gonna select latest themes and click on save now that we have configured footer area 2 3 4 and 5 let us go to our front end and check how will this appear this is the front end of our site and it will appear like this it's pretty much as in our demo site and it is neat and clean to have your specific pages or such in here so the next widget area is footer quick information area for this one you need to place a widget that is quick contact info this one you need to place it in here now here you will find an option to add title, contact address, contact number and contact email address which will appear as in like this. So I'm going to add title, well what's the title we have added that is store villa so I'm going to add the same. I'm going to add our theme name or contact. then contact address any number and then our email address and click on save now let us check it in our front end this is the front end of our site and it will appear as in like this with address and everything with icons so it's pretty easy and now it's time for the configuration of sub footer area that is this one so for this you need to go to your dashboard and then go to customize since that is to be configured from customize you need to go to customize and where you will find the option here copyright message section you can put your company name maybe and click on save and publish might take some time see it is saved now you can also get the preview in this right here you will have your company name well for this it is not changeable if you want to change this then you need to update upgrade to pro version or uh, you can write a custom CSS in the custom CSS field and remove this one with the one you want now for 
this area and these logos are, are sorry of the payment methods you need to go back to your customize then you will find your payment logo section where you can upload payment logo images select image the best image size is 52 by 30 pixel this is the standard size that we have chosen for our demo as well similarly you can add it like this and click on save and publish now after this save and publish it will appear like this on the footer sorry on the soft footer area let me also show you in the front end of our site see it will appear like this with the payment method so that your customers will know which payment methods you take so in this way you can configure your footer area as in our demo site and if you have any confusion then you can always refer to our online documentation which you can find in our theme detail page of the theme that is here from here you can uh, check the documentation anytime online here we have set up footer where we have included all the process of how it is done including set soft footer area as well or you can write to me in the comment section and I'll reply to you as soon as possible uh, about any confusion that you are having with the footer area or you can contact our support team we have you can contact from here we we'll have the address that is support at xexpressthemes.com or for general information you can go to info at xexpressthemes.com or you can talk to us in the chat here so thank you very much for watching this video and uh, if you like our video tutorials and please subscribe to our channel thank you very much